Switzerland is quite challenging, especially if uh, you are new here driving in Switzerland and compared to your home country, like in my home country, for example, it's not just only like adjusting driving from the right wheel into the left wheel like here but a lot more it's like the signs the way the driving and what happened on the street and etc so let's follow me and some of the signs and regulation also the way to drive here are going to surprise you so let's let's follow my trip okay you are driving in Switzerland you might see a little bit of different in normally in your countries like I come from Indonesia of course the driving in the left wheel is not the same in the right wheel you really have to adjust the orientation and a lot more and some of them are might be surprising let me tell you what is the different driving here in Switzerland and in my home country or probably in your country okay let's just follow my journey now this is it if you see the sign stop and normally in a big um, white letter you really need to completely stop you cannot just go through although the street is empty you need to stop completely look right to the left and then you can just um, go to on this main street if this is really empty because if you just go through even the street empty without stopping you will get fine and also the zebra cross normally in the yellow one here is the thing every driver in switzerland will stop will stop and then let the passenger cross and sometimes the passenger didn't really notice so they just cross by and look at the street right now here is also the thing that i noticed a lot many constructions on the street this is like never ending construction construction in every street so here you have to be very careful because normally they put another additional um, traffic light in front of the construction to let to the other way to come first and then you can come you cannot just um, ignore this because it's also part of the street sign if you want to go out or exit from roundabout you have to get the sign or blink if you want to go out from the roundabout this is not a must in my home country you can just go out from the roundabout but here you have to give the sign otherwise it will be confusing from the car behind you driving here i find it really interesting as look at that that is the background of the iceberg mountain you can see it immediately oh we are lucky because we have to stop here and then we can see Another thing that uh, apart from the street that belongs to many kind of thing bus, tram and also pedestrian and of course the cars and we have to really notice about the bikers because as you know that many sporty people here in Switzerland they like to bike especially if the weather seems to be really nice to bike that is why on the street there are always space for the bikers as you can see normally they put it onto the right side like here look at that okay here in switzerland maximum speed you might allow to drive even though in highway is 120 kilometers per hour so you cannot speed up even though the streets are empty and the minimum can be 20 kilometers per hour that is normally near school or near a quite busy 
uh, street so this is 20 km per hour until 120 km per hour but in a normal uh, normal street like now what I'm driving on is 60 km per hour and we are heading to um, the street that is allowed to be more than 60 km per hour though so we really have to notice how many kilometers is the maximum speed that we we are driving driving in switzerland is very unique because sometimes you have to go up to the hill going down to the hill this is really crazy especially when uh, the streets is a little bit slippery you really have to be careful and you really have to adjust your speed it is easier with the automatic car car but the manual you really have to be careful and in the winter time you have to change your winter tire into winter tire and the summer you have to change it into the summer tire so adjust adjustment here is what made the most to drive safely in Switzerland your hand both hands have to be on the wheel. It cannot be distracted by the phone or eating or uh, drinking. My hand is not everywhere at this moment, but you know, you're not allowed to get distracted even for navigation. And especially in handphone, because I would say you will get like 250 Swiss franc if you get couch, you get a couch of talking and the police will see when is uh, your history of the talking and etc. and you will have to pay 250 for the fine and the other thing is the fine is if you get couch of driving over the speed limit no matter where you really have to notice on the street whether there is a speed trap because you will get fine wow with the flag of switzerland <laughs> have to stop and look at that